For my A2 media product, I chose to create a documentary based on the younger generation getting off the streets and to join in at a dance school to do something active and something that they enjoy. Originally, I had chosen to film a documentary based on how dance has developed from the 1960s era all the way to now in the 21st century and how many different styles have grown all throughout the years. I feel that changing my idea of my dance documentary is more appealing to my audience and I think that it's a lot more easier to create than filming a 1960s dance development as I feel that it appears to be a more modern audience that watch it and children are more likely to watch it as m most teenagers are causing crime on the streets nowadays. In a typical documentary, the forms and conventions are as followed. Interviews, voiceovers, use of text and titles, archive footage, real footage of, real footage of events and sound. In my media project, I've used all of the above so that my documentary follows the same pathway as any other documentary that is shown on the television. I feel that I've used most of these forms and conventions for a typical documentary well because at the beginning of my project I have recorded a voice-over interview with a sports student at my college, Claudia Walker, who is also my street crime artist at the beginning. The voice-over interview is being played whilst we see footage of real, real crime against archive footage crime with the police cars. Before I show my, the real footage of students from my dance school dancing, I have used text to show what style of dance is being shown in that part of the documentary to make it clear to my audience. This sort of text is quite common in most documentaries as it helps the audience know and understand what is going on in that particular part. The development from my documentary and an average documentary that is shown on the TV is that I haven't chosen to film any interviews with an expert such as policemen for the street crime and dance professionals or teachers for the younger generation to get involved with dance as a hobby and a way of preventing crime on the streets. I also feel that I have developed a typical documentary as for my interviews with the students from my dance school, Roland and Sayers. I have the questions on my phone and I'm reading them off there. However, as I'm reading my questions off my phone and it is shown in the shots of each interview, some people may think that this is very unprofessional to do this. But I feel that I've modernised it and wanted the interviews to look like this. As in an ordinary documentary that would be shown on the TV, the interviewer would normally use a microphone in the shot or just use a shot reverse shot between the interviewer and the person they were interviewing. As watching dance documentaries such as Disco Kid and programmes such as Dance Moms, I felt more inspired to create a dance documentary, but then I felt it needed a twist. So I feel that I have challenged an original dance documentary or programme, as I have added a twist to it by using dance as something to get the younger generation off the streets, stop them from causing crime and do something that most people are not that interested in. And it is also a way to help the community that people live in. Also, filming this type of documentary really interests me and I love to dance and it is my life so I feel that I have challenged the forms and conventions by attempting to create a dance documentary with a major twist and I also think that I have challenged it by believing that I could achieve something good enough to show. I feel that my main production and my ancillary text combination are reasonably effective as I've used a couple of screen grabs from my main product and used them to create my texts. The main product and both of my ancillary texts fit really nicely together as they all relate to whatever is going on in my main production and explains what the documentary is about or at least there is an idea of what it should look like. I find that my print artefacts and my own product also link really well as the colour scheme relate really good together. Even though both of my texts have the colour pink running through them and so does the title of my documentary, some people from my target audience may think that the production and killery texts only relate to an audience of girls. 
Well, they're also related to boys as well. And I feel that they both fit together really nicely. After looking at both of my Ankylary texts, I feel that although they fit together and they fit to the theme of my main product, I didn't feel that they looked very creative or imaginative for my audience to see in a newspaper or in a magazine which attracts them to watch the entire documentary when it is made. So after looking at both of my texts, I decided to create new ones so that they looked more imaginative to my target audience. After creating two brand new print artefacts that, that are based on my production, I feel that both of the texts look more imaginative and creative now as I think that they will definitely attract my audience as I may th flick through their local newspaper and magazine and instantly look at them. The colour contrast between my main production and both of my new texts I think complement each other so much better than both of my first ones. I think this is because now the colours just don't relate to one gender prototype as it is now relating to both men and women. I also feel that more of my target audience are more likely to pick up a magazine or newspaper if they see my two texts in there and I think that seeing both my texts together will urge them to watch the entire docu documentary if it was made. The new and Killary texts have also had a lot of thought put into them to be made and I think that has got a huge impact on how they will look as an end result to my target audience if they were published in real life. For all of the images that I've used for my magazine advert, they have all been used in my mind production as well. So I think there's a very clear link that the artefacts and mind production really link well together. For my newspaper article, I have also used some of the images that were featured in my mind production. But I have also I've also used text which is mostly shown to explain what the images are used for in the article a lot more so that it gives my audience a clear understanding of my documentary. From my audience feedback which I had received from another class in AS, I felt that I didn't receive positive criticism from the group as a whole and I maybe could have received much better feedback. After watching my main production, looking at both of my ancillary texts which were my first attempt and having a quick look over my blog for research and planning, I think that my audience only felt obliged to say what they saw on the screen. However, since receiving my feedback, I have made major improvements to both of my ancillary texts and have made them more creative and imaginative to the human eye. And I've also made some minor improvements to my main product and blog. The major changes that I've made to my ancillary text after receiving my feedback was that I didn't stick to a colour scheme in my newspaper advert and magazine article. And I didn't merge a couple of pictures as I didn't think that it would attract my audience as much. So I changed it to a mixture of pictures with dance and crime and made the pictures a lot more clearer and less blurry so that they could be seen by my target audience. I had also made my newspaper article a lot more appealing as well, as I felt that it needed much more clear information on what my documentary was about and the pictures to back it up and give more information. I also feel that if I received my feedback from my A2 class, I feel that the criticism would have been a lot more positive as we are all on the same stage and we all have the same amount of knowledge and understanding of creating a whole project. I feel that if I re-filmed my entire project and made it look more completely professional like a documentary that my target audience would happily watch on the television, I feel that I would have received a lot more positive criticism about the starter of my documentary as it would have looked more professional and maybe a lot more creative and more people would enjoy watching it.